As crews survey the extent of damage from Hurricane Ida, volunteers from Vermont have been called to help with the recovery. Local 22's Courtney Kramer caught up with a few of them, and she's live now in the studio to tell us more. Lauren, volunteers from the Red Cross will be down in Louisiana for the next two weeks. They tell me there's no shortage of work from providing shelter and food to financial assistance. I know how scary it is um, to lose everything and, and not know what's next. So I just want to bring a little bit of peace to, to these people. Jessica Maston is one of four Vermonters heading to the Gulf Coast with the Red Cross of Northern New England. For her, things are coming full circle. 15 years ago, Jessica's house burned down and the Red Cross was there. And more recently, she lived in Puerto Rico when Hurricane Maria made landfall. I know that when I saw the American Red Cross, I, I had a feeling of relief. Um, it was just a things are going to be OK. The, the help is there. Um, so that's what I want. I want to I want to be that person that people see and they can relax just a little bit. Jessica will be serving as a shelter associate, helping people reach a safe place to stay and ensuring they have access to basic necessities. Communities are in crisis right now, dealing with extreme flooding, power outages and thousands displaced from their homes. It's uncomfortable. It's a bit of a sacrifice, but um, Helping people is really what life is all about, right? Another Vermonter, David Allen, arrived in Baton Rouge Friday before the storm hit. He's previously helped after large fires and also during Hurricane Florence. Now David is using his business background to help determine the economic impact of this disaster. He says a lot of information is still coming in as to where the damage is. There are areas that we can't move into. Um, but we have uh, plans to uh, set up kitchens, set up additional shelters, uh, distribute uh, supplies. It's a moving target from a finance standpoint. In business, th things don't happen quite as quickly as they do uh, in disasters. Green Mountain Power also says it's ready to send help down south. The utility has already released some crews from contracts in the event they're needed. Reporting live tonight in the studio, Courtney Kramer, Local 22 News.